Welcome, ladies and gents, to Face TV. A bit, bit alone at the moment, but uh, James is in Madrid. He's left me here. But we've got one match today. We've got Star Series 12. We have NIP versus Titan. It's a pretty important match. So let me just uh, explain it to you. We're going to look at the brackets very quickly, the groups, and uh, we'll run through what the result means here between these two teams. And it is going to be best of three, so we'll just bring that graphic up. And uh, we'll have ourselves a goosey gander at what's going on here. So. With this match, NIP and Titan, if NIP win 2-0, they get second, and that's going to score them uh, that trip to the LAN, and that's going to be guaranteed then if they get, if they get a 2-0 finish. If they get a 2-1 finish, that means Hellraisers go to LAN, and NIP will be third and Titan fourth, meaning that uh, Titan and NIP now are gonna go, w would be going into the last chance qualifier where only one team w will make it through to LAN. And if Titan win with any score, then they go to land, Hellraisers will be third, and Nip will be fourth. So a so really important match for uh, both teams to just, just, you know, no shenanigans, just get themselves to land. A really, really important uh, match here. So, uh, guys, I think we might as well just jump into this because we do have the match ready to go. So let's, uh, let's uh, kick this off. Just going to, there we go, bit of wizardry going on. Here we are, we're jumping into it. And we have ourselves Inferno to kick things off here on map number one. And uh, already we're seeing what appears to be a pretty standard setup from Titan. They're not like doing that those moves where they put loads of guys on banana at the start. They're, they've got three people towards quad actually, one in boiler as well. So we'll have to see if Get Right's gonna find himself some action here because who is that in boiler we see? Apex meanwhile though, speaking of, actually pushing up down banana. <laughs> trying to go for the flanks. They're actually sandwiching the Swedes here before they can really get their play going. So this is beautiful here from Titan. Apex taking that early risk here and uh, Kenny S defending the apartments is certainly going to result in a nice advantage. So Alu and uh, Forrest left over now with very limited amounts of health and armor. Let's have a look and see where they are at at the moment. Just uh, chilling in the middle. Got Forrest there by the bench and Alu looking for something over by Boiler. Of course it is a pistol, so it's got to find those headshots, but with such low health and four players to deal with, you don't like their odds right now. So it's looking like Titan should be geared up for a pretty good start here as uh, Alu and Forrest make their way in. Alu still looking to be uh, playing and subbing for NIP in some of these big matches. Here we go, going to be challenging Existence, he will pick off one, and there is the second kill as well. So Existence cleans up, but all the damage was done really by Apex, that that quick push down Banana, just forcing that kind of state of emergency there for NIP. He was slowly trying to position, but Titan were having none of that. So that's really cool from them. We're going to see the Pistol Armor coming into play now for NIP. What are they going to be able to do with this one? Always very, very dangerous. And uh, more to the point, how are Titan going to stop it? Because they know exactly what's going to happen here. They know that Islam is going to be coming out. And you can already see, wow, a nice dink long range. Apex down to 20 health. And yes, gets weakened severely as well. Even taken out by Get Right as they push through apartments a little bit. And uh, looks like four and four situation here with the health in favor, actually, of NIP. So they're doing a good job at the moment. But the round is going to slow down as they look for options onto one of the two bomb sites. So right now they had no presence on Banana. They've got to try to gain some sense of what's going on over there. But as uh, as we can see, we've got RPK in position with the fam. That's going to go for the peak. Does take down a quick couple frags there. Good job from RPK. Sees the bomb as well. That's a pretty big deal now as existence is going to be here alone against these guys. Best camera angle I've ever seen in my life, but here he goes. The defense from first orange is going to be spraying down one. Can he get the second? He will. RPK in existence, locking it down at the end. And that's going to be the round cleaned up by Titan for that 2-0 opening. And they're past the danger zone. No more Tech Nines should be coming their way anytime soon, at least, as NIP are forced to go for the full save. And uh, it's, good to, it's good to see that Titan are having a bit of a better start yesterday when we cast their matches. They seem to be essentially kind of riddled with, with problems here and there and having to sub out players and all that. Apex um, getting subbed by someone, I don't know who it was, but either way, this looks like a much different story now. Titan, a nice start, just gunning down the Glock players of NIP and one well, not actually going to value there, taking down Maniac, but uh, 
he is going to be taking out himself, and we will see 3-0 now, and the buy will come in from NIP. This is where things will get interesting now. Okay, so AWP on Kenny S, which is what we all, all love to see. And uh, where is he going to take this at the start of the round? Looks like he's looking towards Banana at the moment, so they might do uh, three to the, towards Banana to begin with, and then have Kenny S rotate back. Almost at like four to Banana there is uh, Maniac kind of staying in spawn for quite a long time. Here we go, Kenny S going to make his move in, looking for some angles with that AWP up on the car, scanning every single spot here, trying to clear it out, and that's going to allow his teammate existence to actually push down with the deep smokes, and they're going to take solid control of this. We do have Get Right taking down Maniac, meanwhile, over towards Apartments, which is going to call for a rotation for Titan. Existence now alone on Banana, as Kenny S leaves them there in favor of lending more support to the A side of the map, which just received a heavy blow in that loss of Maniac. There it is. MIP just slowly making their way. There it is as well with Kenny S on the angle there. Get right almost looking to peak Boiler, but he doesn't go through, and that's going to be nice for him because Kenny S had that big green gun point straight at him. But here it is. Existence now going to hear a lot of stepping. Goes for the smoke here. Knows he's going to be challenged by a lot of players. Existence locking it down. Two players falling. Goes for the reload. The spray comes out. Alu just takes him down. Plants on the grill. And now we're going to have a three on three here. It's going to be really difficult for them to go for this retake now as the smoke's just freshly planted. Get right on the flank as well, causing all kinds of problems here. Apex going to get taken out by him. And Forrest making it even easier. And Kenny S is left with nothing to do except just save this AWP and try to keep some of the T's in the blast radius as that bomb explodes to see if he can get that economic damage in. But it's a good round here from NIP. And uh, Kenny S will even pick up a frag here. And I think, uh, I think uh, Ali has time to get away here. Maybe not. He's dilly-dallying. Yeah, there he goes. Actually, he does actually survive. I thought, he, I thought the bomb would do a lot more damage there, but I guess I was wrong. And Kenny S did go down. Meanwhile, did not expect that. Get right, somehow finding the frag there. And that is, that, that's a really big deal right there. So much value taken away from them. And you know that Kenny S can just blow up around with an AWP just all by himself. So really nice for them to eliminate that threat. However, he is able to afford another one. You can see him here with, uh, with the AWP on a much more defensive angle. As we can see here on the minimap here, they're going for that three-man setup once again early on. This is all about the timings. If NIP were to push quickly there, they're going to have a fast response. However, we're going to start to see, I think, in the next five, ten seconds, Kenny S rotating back towards arch side here to give a hand towards A. And, uh, Kenny is still holding the angle here. So three men still on B quite late. So usually you see the rotate back by this point when there's no information shown. And this passive play from Titan might just reward them as Freiberg goes for the angle here. But meanwhile, Alu's going to find himself a peak and a frag. And just as he does that, that's going to make Kenny S basically leave his post on that angle, which would have... I mean, if he just waited an extra second, he would have killed Freiberg. I've got no doubts in that. And now it's all this pressure on Maniac. He's got so much work to do here. He's got an entire lineup to deal with. Four players. Does take down the first frag. Maniac only gets that, though, as Existence and Kenny S. Two on four. Make that a one on four. Once again, Kenny S finding himself as the last man standing with this sole mission to keep this AWP alive. And it's certainly going to be a bit of a mission here as NIP are going to be hunting him. Or at least they, they should be trying to... Uh, find out where he's hanging out at the moment. Got some Freiberg looking to smoke off the uh, cause angle there in case Kenny S was actually trying to cover that entrance with the AWP and that's going to get Freiberg into the B-bomb site. So that's actually quite a smart move there by Freiberg. Look how NIP is slowly surrounding Kenny S here. I'm not sure if they're going to have the time in the end to get to him, but it's a nice effort. Slow and steady here. Freiberg going to turn the corner, but he does get taken down by Kenny S just in the last moment. And I'm going to see 3-2 to two now on the score. So, Kenny S kept his AWP alive this time, but his team will be saving. They're not going to opt to uh, buy behind this, which is quite sensible. So Kenny S, can he open up the round here? You have to wonder if uh, NIP are pretty expectant of how Kenny likes to play, but he is going to take the quick peek, and this time, this round, 
He's going to take one frag. Alu goes goes down there to the AWP. And yes, gets that push back by the grenades here. NIP not deterred at all. They want to keep pushing this straight through. They know Kenny S is there. Another great shot there. Running through the flames as it's a three on three now. Can Kenny S do more damage yet still with this AWP? The smokes are going to cause him to have quite a difficult time here as he rattles off some, some spam shots blindly through that smoke to see what he can connect with. It's not going to be much all that yet, but Kenny S patient yet yeah, again. And really, for Titan at the moment, it's all about the damage that he can inflict here with this weapon. And I'm not giving him all that much. Get right with a great, great peek there, and uh, that's going to be the end of Titan in that round. So three to three now. LIP doing a really good job, a remarkable uh, job coming back in this. And I, I like the simplicity there, and not being intimidated by Kenny S orping and getting the early pick there, but just charging through all the nades. Good confidence from them. They, they knew that uh, the rest of the players were on pistols, so. So, uh, I mean, the risk was always there that they could be running into a stack, but but uh, this time around, MIP do come out on top and we have ourselves with an orping Alu. So let's see what he can accomplish here as well. Because now there's no sniper rifle on the hands of Titan. Can he yes, this time on an M4? Again, they're playing three players here towards Banana, and what an interesting opening from Titan. Okay, going to get taken down by Alu there. As free as uh, <laughs> as uh, NIP <laughs> managed to take themselves control of Banana once more. So it's quite interesting how Titan plays so passively with the three players here. But now the push actually coming in. I'm surprised Existent Freiburg deeming it necessary to run through the smoke. And that's going to mean that now we have an advantage here for them. And Titan, that is, as. Uh, it's just Ali get right in Forest left. They're going to make a quick approach here into Arch side. Ali could open this up here, but that's a lot of damage sustained there by Forest, who's trying to peek the angle here. Ali going to drop the bomb as he goes for the next peek. They try to open this up right now. Forest's going to be carving his way into the quad area to try to allow that team to plant onto the, the A bomb site here. There it is. Kenny S with the spray down. I guess he's going to get two players. So four to three, the score now. As we do have, uh, is Mir actually going to hold on to this? No, surely not. There he goes. He's going to chuck it away, playing a hot potato with the AWP there. But of course, it will go to Kenny S. And this time, instead of going banana, he's going to go to middle. So Ali is orping still also. So is he going to be on middle? Is he going to be on the angle? It's like uh, he's over towards second mid at the moment. So not going to see much action there from him at the start of the round, as Titan do have a very limited presence in actually in the the second mid general vicinity the area of apartments they don't really have much much in the way of resources there. they've only got one man they've only got some um, i think it's yes maniac who's over there and it's been quite interesting to see how titan are playing um most of the time two players on arch side this obviously allows them for a quicker rotation towards b instead of having two guys you know around the pit kind of court area of course it's going to mean a much longer rotation towards b so and, and with them having three players towards B in so many of the rounds, playing as passively as they were, it really makes me feel like Titan have this read or had some kind of a read on NIP that they wanted to go for more B plays. But this round, it's going to be a bit more standard. Kenny S rotating himself towards that quad area is going to pick himself up a, a nice little frag there as a peak comes in on Boiler. Freiburg's going to actually throw the smoke over for Library, and uh, that's actually really, really nice here. As they march in now, NIP taking no prisoners. Burning Apex to death. Freiberg moving in with the Deagle here. What can he find with this one? That spot just a pixel of a head there. Freiberg won't get the shot though. It's going to be Kenny S with another insane no scope over the top of the bombs like crate as Alu now has the AWP in his hand. Gets caught from two angles at once. Bomb does go down, but it's in the hands of the in game leader, Exist. He's got two players to find now as we have RPK in existence with that crossfire, and he can't do a single thing. It was too difficult with two players at once, and they got plenty of time here. So nice, nice save from uh, Titan. But my God, Kenny S, what a th what a three kill from him! Some of the kills that this guy is able to just find with the AWP is just phenomenal. Absolutely ridiculous. The consistency on some of those no scopes is, is brilliant. Always fun to watch. He's a highlight machine. All right, so Titan reclaiming uh, some control of the match. 
However, there are Tech Nines in the mix and quite a few nades as well. So, LFE looking to take fast control of Banana at the moment and uh, probably pu uh, push themselves straight on into that B bomb site. RPK and existence here, though, to try to stop this. We do have lots of grenades and rifles to work with. And the Molotov seems to be slowing them down quite significantly. There's three players here now for Titan. They bought the time they needed with that fire. But Alu actually going for the fast plant, and this is a big result here for NIP. In that plant, any extra damage here in frags is a huge bonus. And that said, they're even going ahead now in the player count. Lots of trouble now for Titan. They are going to equalize things thanks to Maniac getting two kills, but Alu does trade back onto him. Kenny S and Existence coming in now. Kenny S with the AWP in hand. Existence going to take down Alu at pool. Now it's all on Forest at the back of the site. In they go. Kenny S going to get taken down, but Existence, he's going to be able to get the defuse if he has a kit. He does. And he's got just enough time. It's going to be close, but I think he's just got just barely enough time. There it is. And he's got the AWP as well. So can I throw that back over to Kenny S. And that was a pretty darn costly round. How did they lose four players there? NIP, they had just a bunch, just a few grenades, like two grenades each, like a smoke and a flash, and, and just some Tech Nines. They didn't really invest in armor, but still they killed four players and got a bomb down. That's, that's a massive result. You can see how crippling this is for Titan because now they're in a spot where if they lose this round, not only do they have to go for the eco, but you know the economy for NIP is going to be so, so, so strong so fast. Apex with a bit of peek there, a bit of peeking action there with the flashes on middle. See what information you can get. It does pick up a frag, but with these all these trays coming in. It's just two players left now for for Titan in this round. And largely speaking, NIP have just been playing reactively to the and to the aggressive play. Uh, of, of Titan as it's coming in, they've been more than happy to receive it and take these one-on-ones. As we do have uh, what should in this in this situation be a fourth round for NIP, but can Titan change the dynamic? Can they throw a wrench into the works? Maniac's going to take down Forest, who's lurking over towards Boiler. There is job to just flank and cause havoc. But what is this? Nine health for Freiburg, two for Alu. 14 for Exist, they're all bleeding out at the moment, and in comes Maniac from the back here for the flank, and this is going to be perfect there, Maniac with the spray gets both players, and that was beautiful there, gorgeous hold of the choke point on Banana from RPK and Existence, so 7-3 to three now, Titan looking quite good actually, and uh, wow, so, and I will remind you guys, if Titan uh, are able to win this best of three of any, any score, like two zero two one, they're going to go to land, and uh, how is an NIP going to have to play that last chance qualifier? Nobody wants that. No one wants to be in that position, and going to have Maniac pushing balcony there. He's got good support here as well. He's got uh, Apex coming in, but he's going to get eliminated by Get Right straight away. And the HE is enough to take down Maniac, launching that one in to the apartments. But in comes Kenny S. Had enough of these shenanigans. So he's trying to pick up some quick frags with the play onto the players. Another good one onto Get Right. It's all on Alu now. Alu coming in. He's got a good angle, but Kenny S. He's got some sixth sense. He can feel Alu staring into his back. He flicks just around in time to pick up the kill. Eight to three now. The score as it looks even better now for Titan and NIP. They can buy a few Tech Nines if they want to, to and still be able to buy in the following round. But it looks like. Uh, yeah, there we go. Th there are the tech lines. There are the tech lines. Even even uh, Kevlar and a smoke and a flash on get right. So, how much is he left with? Two K. So that's that's perfect. Okay. Might be also lost quite a lot in a in a row here. So they are benefiting from the the executive round loss money bonus. So, apartments taken over here by NIP. Plane thrown in as they spot the players. You can see how. Uh, how passive Titan are playing here. They just want NIP to come at them. They just want them to barrel through the choke points and they just want to spray them down. They don't want to play this complicated. They don't need to flash in, peek for information. They know what's going on. They know it's just pistols. In comes the rush and in they go through those choke points and getting sprayed down completely. All annihilated there. And we've got the last couple uh, players left here now for NIP. Freiburg and Get Right. Freiburg's actually crept, crept all the way along here, looking for the headies. He knows that it's super likely this to be a player. He would peek there, but RPK is going to get the better of him by peeking just in time. And we've got Get right now, who's uh, moving towards Banana. Can he pick up any damage himself? It's like uh, we've got RPK, the front man here for this. Gonna get the peek, and Get right is going to just uh, 
chop his head off with that that tech nine. He's gonna be able to pick up a weapon. And Gero is the sole player who bought armor here as well. So this is gonna give him a, a pretty even fight here against existence. But uh, teammates gonna be rolling in. Get right gets the kill somehow. Tech nine comes out. Get right pulls out another kill. Now it's a one on two. Get right has just enough time here for the plant and he's going to be able to get into cover just barely in time behind the fountain goes for the quick reload and here they come surrounding him but what an amazing effort there from get right able to turn that into a one on two gets the bomb down kills three players so much damage done here and MIP they already had a lot of cash now they're going to have a lot more to just get that full buy in and even if they uh, lose this one they're going to have another round where they could Probably all, yeah, all by orbs if they wanted to. So, but they're not, not going to see that. That would be a pretty poor choice. Just going to be Ali on the orb here. Let's have a look at uh, the early choice here from Kenny S. He's going to go towards uh, Banana at, at this uh, this round. It's gonna, we've seen this movement from him before. This is to just basically help. Uh, you can see him. He clears all the angles in exactly the same order as as before. He didn't go for some of the closer pillar angles to help existence, but. But usually we see him clearing all those pillar angles to help existence get deep onto the banana area and then he rotates back as we can see. And MIP are getting caught off by this, losing a player as uh, Freiber goes down through the smoke and existence is still holding onto this. He has a smoke for the re-smoke as well. And once he re-smokes that, he can play a little bit further back and just play for the info and the delay and just communicate well with his team. Here goes Alu though, he does get uh, position over Kenny S, who did get flashed out of that angle. So that's good work there from NIP with the grenades to slowly win angle upon angle against Titan's defense. But they do have four players here towards this A bomb site. And he's going to be going in now for another peek. But look at that from Kenny S. So brave, so bold. Facing three players, picks up a kill onto Ali, the Orpa, who was just about to try to pick into Maniac's position, but that's not going to happen now. And Kenny S is still alive, and this has forced not only one frag, but two onto the MIP lineup, and they are going for another plan here, plan B. We do have uh, Existence at the back of the site. We do have uh, Kenny S, who's rotated into construction as well. So, Existence there. And he's spotting Forrest, picks up the kill, going to peek around for the second one. He gets it as well. Good job there from Existence. And uh, got to hand it to Kenny S. He's, he's really beasting it, but look at this from Existence. 18 frags. He's been locking down that B bomb site. And it, you can see the difference it's making, allowing uh, so much more freedom here for Titan to be playing against NIP, knowing that Existence can be relied upon so heavily in these B defenses. So. Freiberg ready to uh, boost over here. They're, that means they're basically anticipating the deep banana smoke. And as we can see, once again, Kenny S is going aggressive here. Not going to be finding the frag there. They hear him on, on the angle, so they don't want anything to do with it anymore. Kenny S is going to fall back. Reposition is he's quite useless there now that uh, NIP are aware of him. So might as well get himself another position. And fought on A at the moment. Existence solo on the B-bomb site once more. But again, he's still got a smoke to play with to throw in, to delay. You can see he's really trying to use it as late as possible. And that we have, uh, in the meantime, all of the NIP players moving up through middle, looking for that control of the middle area. But Kenny S going to take down Alu straight away once more, getting the better of Alu. This just can't be happening here for NIP. They keep getting thinned out before the push can even make it onto the site. Kenny S now watching the balcony. They've got a great setup here. Have Titan for the defense. Can NIP find a way to break this? We have Get Right on the balcony. Ready to bust out of here now as Freiburg takes the frag onto Apex. Maniac there onto Exist. Reacts onto Get Right, but he can't win the duel. Get Right coming in again. Gets frag number two. Just now on Existence. Rotating. He's got the Nikes on there as he makes his way as fast as physically possible to the A bomb site where he is going to be in a one on two. Get Right slow. Freiburg is not uh, fully healthed up either. Comes Existence, he knows that the crossfire is real here. Going to be finding the angle, wow, I think Freiburg or somebody flashed get right there. But uh, Existence not going to be able to pull out the round. And we're going to have a 10-4 scoreline as uh, NIP pick one more up. And this is, uh, this is quite interesting that Titan, I mean, it's not going to matter, but it's... It's quite telling that Titan now, after losing just one round, have no money on a rebuy. And they didn't even they weren't even able to get a full buy going. They're missing a couple nades. 
and there's no AWP either, so really goes to show how much damage has been done here consecutively by uh, by uh, NIP in these rounds. So this is this is a round where perhaps Alu can have more freedom in his AWP picks, because he's been bested by Kenny S most of the time here when Kenny S has been AWPing. But now there's no Kenny S in play as far as the AWP goes. That said, we can see how Kenny S is changing his role. They've got a three-man setup here towards the court area, and I really love this. Of course, it does leave leave um, leave the arch side open, but it's much more likely that a team's going to try to actually smoke off arch to push through quad and then run into a three-man setup. You can see that uh, exists. It's going to go for this uh, smoke towards the library area, as uh, that will actually cut off nice angles from the players who would be on arch. But they're not on arch; they're all on quad side at the moment. And Apex is still there as well. Get right might not expect the other player to be close range, and in fact, Apex gets the drop on him, picks up the kill, and now it's three players left for an IP in this last round. They've got 35 seconds left, and they have to make something happen now. You can see them slowly making their way up with Alu, just trying to clear these angles, trying to hold them steady as they make grounds towards this A-bomb site, looking for the wrap here. They've got a Freiburg who's making his way on quad as well, but I think he's about to get backstabbed here by Maniac. There it is. Does indeed get backstabbed. And Apex now popping out to take down Exist. Alu, it's all on you, my friend, but Apex has the goods. 11-4. to four. Titan deliver a very strong half here. Not much of a response for NIP, and we know that NIP have a great... Great CT side as well, but they're really going to have to show it now because Titan looking really on point. Existence is really hitting a lot of his shots here. Defense, from a defensive standpoint, he's been doing a fantastic job on Banana. And uh, Kenny S, you know, he's been providing some of those key performances in, the, in those really impactful rounds. So it's good to see here that uh, Titan are having a much better game. Maniac's having a better game as well, you know, doing a decent job in, in the defenses around uh, the balcony area when he was pushed. And uh, with NIP only able to get four ends, it, it definitely does speak, speak well for Titan's momentum. So get right on 14 frags that exist, unable to really make all that much in the way of frags here. Just, just three for him as he was orchestrating his team. And I think a big uh, big point here as well is the fact that so many of these rounds, Alu got basically crushed by, by Kenny S. Um, and Kenny S was also able to hamstring some of these B pushes as well. And the, basically the space, we can see that uh, a lot of the job done by, by Kenny S was actually to create space at the start of the rounds towards Banana. Because once the space was created here, and you can see often, often what he would go, uh, go for I mean, like for example, we rarely see saw the Kenny S that would like go through the apartments and go for the quick push on the spawn, or let's say like run across and go for the balcony peak. We didn't see this kind of Kenny S very often. Instead, we saw more Kenny S towards Banana at the start of the round, where he's able to help Existence clear Banana, so that then Existence can help himself to all the position here and just basically allow four players to be on the A site. So, so basically, Kenny S allowing Existence to be at his most potent there and really gaining edges. So that's, that was a really nice uh, nice bit of play there from Titan. I really liked how that played in their advantage. But now we're into the pistol and already Apex is going to be picking off Forest. NIP, they're looking for the peaks there and uh, this time it's going to really burn as Forest does go down. And we're going to have to see if they're able to def defend here as we do have uh, Ali on the balcony and they've got uh, Exist here on the arch side. They need to get a couple frags before Titan get onto the site. There's Absolutely crucial, especially now Forrest is dead. Exist going to go in for the peak. This is uh, a bold move here, Exist. But he's got to get frags. He's got to deliver with something. He's reloading. How is he still alive? How on earth did he get back into cover? He will go down, though, as we see Titan rolling over NIP. That's a five-man survival. Maniac with two, Apex with three, and NIP completely crushed. Pistol armor could potentially come out from them here. It really... Uh, Depends on how they want to read this situation and how they want to uh, go into the following rounds. But uh, they're deciding to, to indeed go for the pistol armor here. And NIP, very strong at doing so. Will we see a stack? Definitely a very viable option. We've seen many, many effective stacks in the past and big games from them in situations like this on this map. But instead, we're going to have a bit of an apartments push here with a uh, forest there leading the way. Alu going to spot the entire lineup barreling 
through middle into the arch and quad side. And out comes Forrest, only to meet his demise in the hands of uh, Maniac and uh, Kenny S. Getting himself some damage done as well. But in comes the pistols now, getting some frags of their own. Two versus three now for NIP as they try to save this. Freiburg is wrapping around here. He's alone. Might just get two. He will. Maniac and Existence going down, leaving just RPK. Freiburg in a one-on-one. -on -one. Now the, the clock has been put on him here. RPK planting that bomb there. He's got the Galil as well. Freiburg gets a great shot. RPK's head snapped with the 5-7. And he's going to get the defuse as well. What a fantastic round. Four kills from the 5-7 of Freiburg. What a save. That is some nip magic right there. And uh, they're going to keep themselves alive in this match. Bomb going down, though, is certainly going to encourage a force here for Titan. You can see, in fact, yeah, they're going to go for the force. I like this idea. Keep the pressure on the economy of NIP because they know that if they win this round, the NIP are money screwed. NIP cannot buy in the following round. And that means that Titan will essentially be on 14. So, so and, and, of course, if they have some good strats, some good, good uh, rehearsed plays, setups, executes, whatever you want to call it, for this Tech 9 armor round where they have all the grenades, then they could do a huge amount of damage. And even if they just take down three or four players and don't win the round, if, if they get a bomb plant, then it's still a really good round. And, and, I, and they'll have a better buy than NIP despite losing it because, because the AKs are you know, only 2,700, very cheap. So uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is actually a really smart buy if you factor in everything from Titan. So lovely call there from Existence. And we'll have to see if... Uh, to see if uh, Titan are able to actually bust in here. They're, they're so far, they're quite spread out. They've got the bomb on Banana with one other player. RPK Existence and Maniac towards the apartment side here. and Just looking to see if uh, there's going to be any peaks. There's, there is time to use in the round before they go for the, their play here. They might be trying to just to say, you know, say, you know what, maybe NIP will get hungry for info. Maybe they're going to peek somebody into a couple of our shots and we can get a quick uh, kill and make the round easier for ourselves. But now that all the time has been used up, they decide to go for the execute onto the B-bomb site. This was the plan all along here with the Tech Nines and the grenades. In goes Kenny S, straight into the back of the site, going to annihilate Freiburg as he stands. The bomb's going to go down and already significant damage dealt by the French lineup. Alu drags Apex in existence going down as he charges through construction, looking for Kenny S at the back of the bomb site. In a one on two is Kenny, one on three, sorry, is Kenny as he has the M4 now. Dropped by Freiburg, picks up the first kill, gets himself behind quad. Going for the peak assist, the bomb ticking away and he goes down. Forrest getting the frag and the defuse is going to come in here from Exist. Round save, but as I, as I mentioned, you know, so much damage done. They got the bomb down. So uh, look at the money here, they can force it up again. They, I would, would not be surprised if they, if they actually decided to force it up here again. Because they could actually buy some Gillos. They could get an AK on Kenny S yes, or even an AWP. Nades, armor, they could actually scrap together a buy. And again, look at the situation here for NIP. They would be money screwed if uh, Titan were to win this round. But you know what, Titan, they're, they're like, you know, we've got you know, six rounds to buff up. Let's, uh, let's throw one away. Let's give a bit of economy to NIP for free here. Um, well, actually, no, they are going <laughs> to go with a bit of a buy. They're going to leave a little bit in the coffers. They're not going full, full force, but just, uh, just Tech Nine's armor and some nades. So I do, li I do like this. Do you prefer? I do, I do enjoy Counter-Strike when, when, when basically you find every spot where it makes sense to keep pressure on your opponents. And by going for this buy, again, they make it very likely that, that they're going to at least get you know, a few frags, at least like two or three frags at the very least. And if you look at the money from NIP, they just can't afford to be taking these losses. Look at the way the game changes because of the lack of grenades. NIP have to hold so much more passively on the sites. Their rotation game is going to be crippled as well because the, one of the things that helps the rotation game is smoke grenades because it delays the, the T's and allows the CTs once they get the info to set up. Uh, more quickly, but either way, Titan now going to go in for the mid play. They're dropping into that A bomb site. They're scurrying into the the pit area as a uh, NIP look to scramble for those frags and get right. It's going to be delivering there. Picks up existence. Three on three. Damage dealt. Kenny S with an M4 in his hands now. It's looking dangerous here for, for NIP. However, the bomb is not down, and NIP are already very close to the site. So this is really big for them. Get right. Spraying down Maniac. We've got Kenny S in the pit. It's all on him now against three players. Can he find Get Right? Oh, he doesn't get right with good damage onto Kenny S. This man is unstoppable, but it's going to be Freiburg who will pick up the kill in the end. 
and the crisis is averted. That could have gotten really ugly really fast. And you can see that uh, Titan now have a lot of cash in the bank. And uh, thankfully only losing uh, two players there NIP, very close to losing more. They're able to afford a very full buy and They're looking really healthy there. Even able to throw in two incendiaries. So that's uh, going to feel good for them. But uh, would expect them to play it quite passively here once again as they've shown shown a propensity for, especially considering that their economy is, is a little bit shaky to say the least. They want to try to establish more money, I think, before going for some of these riskier plays. I've got Forrest in the bedroom, actually. Going to spot Existence there. And look at this. Coming in with a lot of frags in the apartments. Locking it down. Exist getting two as well <laughs> with uh, Forrest's help in hand. And the bomb is dropped in the balcony now. This is really a big problem. Kenny S has an AWP in his hands. Maniac's got an AK. They're against five players. How, how the hell is Kenny S going to get himself close here with that AWP and actually still pick up the frags and get the bomb? I don't know. I don't really know if this is even possible as NIP are slowly converging on that bomb. We've got four players here now, and uh, there's no real reason for them to peek. They have the bomb. I think there's a lot more value here for NIP in just keeping their weapons alive, considering that their money is so bad that, and, and considering how many rounds they have to win in a row, that uh, they're not going to try to be too aggressive here or throw too much into removing the, the AWP and the, the AK of Maniac and Kenny S. But uh, they do have one player who is uh, safely looking for the, the frags here. It is get right. He's just being as safe and passive as he possibly can here. And another good reason to do this as well is that if you are going to be able to make a kill, you want it to be after the time so that the T's do not get the monies. And uh, get rid of the cost in the monocle there. be a little bit annoying. But you can see that uh, LIP was kind of hunting and knowing where the T's were, they weren't taking risks to try to challenge the angles directly, which I like once again. And now we're going to see, uh, thanks to that round win, all the nades rebought here so as they are looking really good. And, and this time they're going to have an extra incendiary. Instead of two, they have three now. So extra delay potential as uh, we do have the match paused. But uh, as you all know, this is a uh, pre recorded match so we can... Uh, Actually, you just jump past this uh, this pause real quick. Can do the off off games. Let's just do that. All right, here we go. Okay, did I just mess it up? I think so. Maybe you guys can just watch me just to sit here with the, the awesome razor gear whilst we uh, get past this pause here. I'm just gonna skip past this match pause. It's always really fun to have pauses, but now we can we can skip the pauses. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, just looking at the freeze time. All right, this is a long one, guys. I, I wonder what, <laughs> what happens. At least we can skip it, right? Man, this is so, so much time that we're skipping with this. It's brilliant. This, this is actually really, really long. Okay, I'll just, I'll just sit here. I've got to keep my hand on the, on the trigger, otherwise we're actually going to miss, miss it. Or we can get Producer Reese to go for it. Producer Reese there. So I can take my hand off the mouse. It's all good. I will remind you guys uh, uh, very quickly um, oh, okay, we're actually good to go. But I'll remind you guys very quickly, once we hit 400k um, followers, we're going to be doing the, uh, the Dragon Lore attempts, uh, depending on whether you, the, you subs actually want us to do one or two attempts or and how that goes. And then, of course, we'll be giving away um, a Dragon Lore if we get one. Um, so there you go. But let's uh, jump back into the match as we have a really exciting game on our hands, really exciting best of three, really important best of three. So here we go. Titan and NIP. NIP now climbing their way back into this match restoring their economy. They can take some hits now. They can play a little bit more aggressively if they really want to. Would ex definitely expect to see Get Right and uh, Freiburg in the following rounds after this one. Actually going for that uh, that middle of the road smoke on Banana. We'll, we'll uh, highlight that in a moment. At the moment they're still playing a passive game. And we do have Kenny S on an AWP. He's already in the apartments at the moment looking to try to create an opportunity for his team. Obviously, he really wants to catch a push here. Forrest, though, is uh, just sat on the balcony, not really giving a damn. Just going to chill over there. As the RPK has been not quite low as well. So, Kenny is going to toss over the smoke. Please don't get stuck on the smoke. No! I had, okay, guys, I held it, guys, girls, guys, <laughs> I held it for like half a second and it got stuck. That's ridiculous. Volvo, please. 
Ah, uh, I can't wait till we can show smokes again. Look at it. Look at the smoke physics. It's like floating weirdly off. That's not. That's not how physics works. Pretty sure. All right. So it's like uh, the push is going to be coming in here, and we're back just in time here to catch Get Right and Freiburg on the defense. And the B push is coming in, but it's getting annihilated here. They can't get through the smoke. And uh, Kenny S is going to go for the save of the AWP here. So completely shut down Titan. You can see early on in the round, they, they took a very standard approach, just taking map control up Banana, taking uh, map control into apartments. We, we had Kenny S who was actually orping into this angle. But Forrest was just sat here, and this is something that you know LIP do incredibly well, just like the really, really passive passive setups. And even Get Right and, and uh, Freiburg were just moving around these positions, playing the standard super passive plays. But this, uh, after we see the pistol um, over here for NIP, because right now they want to keep themselves using the ranges and uh, the, the, the really solid choke points like this. But I'm going to start expecting to see, maybe in the next round, when there's a buy for Titan, the smoke which goes down here. And when you see Get Right, who, uh, sorry, Freiburg, who plays really close in this position, and Get Right, who supports from back there with grenades. And if the trades are necessary, Get Right can keep for those if Freiburg gets in trouble. So that's what we saw so effectively from them. But back into this one, we're going to see the, uh, the pistols coming in to play as Titan try to do what damage they can. But so far, it's limited, to say the least. They've gotten absolutely nothing. In fact, I don't think they've even connected. Yeah, they haven't even connected a single bullet with any players of NIP here. So it's just, uh, pretty solid, to say th the least. Nice frag there from uh, from Existence, as a little bit extra damage will be done. And this is why we see some of the passive rounds from NIP, because it's really fine now for them to lose a man, or even two men, on some of these rounds. And what does that mean? It means also, not just can they lose people defensively, but um, earlier, in, earlier on in the rounds, or in certain spots where, let's say, they lose somebody, um, uh, like, let's say they go down to four players straight away, they can feel more comf uh, confident in actually going for some proactive, more risky pick-based play, use it, like abusing their skill a little bit more. And this round, we're actually going to see Alu uh, moving with Freiburg here, because he's got the AWP, and you can see Get Right, who's probably going to uh, swap out Alu later on, after Alu's done orping at the start here, is ready with the smoke over the top here, and it's going to be... Uh, did Get Right actually throw his smoke? Because I think I just... Okay, Freiburg was thinking of smoke throwing one there, but he didn't. It was Get Right indeed that did throw his smoke. So Alu gets the pick onto Maniac, and... Now we're going to see the rotations coming in. We've got Alu going back towards CT Arch now, leaving Freiburg alone there. Kenny Esto throwing a bullet into the torso of Get Right from that AWP. Opening up the round here a little bit for his team. Looking for more shots. Oh my goodness, through the blue truck. Forrest is going to have a headache. That is for sure there. 12 to 10 is the score. NIP have been doing a remarkable job to bring themselves back into the match right now, but Titan looking to put a stop to that, thanks to Kenny S here with these two opening kills. His team is rallying here for a quick push onto the A site as they move up through the choke points. Going to be three players in through to the side. Kenny S with one more. Alu taking down. Apex wrapping around the side. Gets a spray on to exist. Freiburg, last man standing for NIP. And uh, once again, they've got good money all around to keep the buys going, but we're starting to enter the latter portions of this uh, round. Sorry, this half. This match, even. So it's the second half. So it's uh, pretty pretty darn good for them that they managed to accrue so much money in some of the previous rounds. But uh, Titan bringing themselves back just in the nick of time, it would appear. Feel the power. X6. T or times six, build the power times six. I guess it makes sense that it would say X6 because his name's existence. But Terrorists win. All right, so Freiburg actually found himself the AWP as well, so he's gonna be able to throw that back onto Alu. So Alu uh, was able to make an opening pick early on in the round, but it didn't really amount to all that much, it would seem. And uh, LIP, interestingly, were then able to actually throw four players towards the A bomb site afterwards. So they even got kind of a, a great setup. But it was just Kenny S being a beast, able to remove some of these players from these angles with his excellent all play. That was really the difference for Titan. That star factor, that star power that Kenny brings to the team is so incredibly important in rounds like that. And we're going to see uh, Ali with a, a much more standard orping angle here. 
Good buy overall from MIP. Lots of uh, incendiaries. In fact, they all have incendiaries. That's going to help them delay the tease. Just that extra amount here as uh, Ali repositions towards Boiler. Love this angle. It's super strong. And uh, he's going to actually spot, I think, or hear at least players coming through onto his angle. No one coming through Boiler, but great reaction there. Finds Apex, repositions slightly, gets a shallower angle, but still Existence gets the follow-up kill. Great work there from the leader of Titan. As now he's on the bomb site, able to plant that bomb safely. We have two players left, but there is a flank coming in from Maniac. Maniac is, uh, there's, there's a time limit here for Get Right and Freiburg, and it's called Maniac because look at this, he's coming in from the back now as Freiburg tries to make his way into the site past the smoke, and he's going to get eliminated by existence. And uh, great round again from the, the in game leader. He's actually top fragging with Kenny S. That's, uh, you don't see that actually every day. In fact, uh, there's, there's often frequent criticism that uh, for, for the, uh, the prowess he has as an in-game leader and the impact that he has as an in-game leader, the impact that he has from a fragging perspective sometimes is a little bit lacking here and there. But in this m match at the very least against NIP, he is doing a wonderful job in some of these rounds, especially on the CT side. All right, so what do we have here? We've got Maniac user pushing Banana by his, his lonesome, just trying to get some map control there. NIP are playing a really passive game against Titan. A really passive game. And uh, we're going to see Titan trying to move their way forwards now through these choke points with these flashes, and there it is. Apex getting the entries there for his team. Kenny S now takes down Forrest on the follow-up as Titan have punched a massive hole through the defensive lines of NIP. There's another one. Alu goes down to Kenny S yet again. And now NIP have nothing to work with. They've got two players left. Get right in Freiburg. I guess you can say that the get right in Freiburg is nothing to work with, but it's going to be a difficult round, that's for sure. RPK there in the boiler. He gets... Uh, he actually uh, catches get right with the nade in his hand still. And it's all going to be on this man. Ready to flash himself in here. Freiburg suspecting the push there. And uh, he was right, but uh, they did change their minds about five seconds ago. So now they're going to be planting on the A site, which is very sensible, avoiding the risk that is Freiburg. Can absolutely blow up a team by himself. I'm looking for the hunt here. MPK is uh, going to be turning the angles, turning the corners, gets the spray down, and Freiburg falls as well. So that is a huge blow there to NIP. Without any money now, really, in this uh, last round, I'm going to have to force it up here as they're put against the ropes on map number one. And again, just to remind you again that if NIP are to, uh, are to let's say Titan do win this and NIP go 2-1, go um, NIP are still third and Titan will be fourth, so they're still going to have to go through the, the, uh, the last chance qualifiers there and Hellraisers will go to land instead. NIP needs to win this. 2-0 if they want to go straight to LAN with that second place in the group. But don't worry if you're a fan, they aren't, aren't going to be eliminated no matter what happens. There will still be the last chance qualifier. We are going to have uh, a very standard setup here from NIP. And it's very interesting how passive they are being. We're not seeing some of the more aggressive uh, plays that that I have uh, been seeing recently from NIP games. They've been mixing it up, it would seem. They decide the passive game is better for them as the push is going to come in here onto the A bomb site now as Titan are forced to just push into this. And this is what NIP are counting on. They want them to just charge into their defensive lines and it's going to be Forrest with two quick frags as it's a three-player survival here for Titan at the moment. There are two on either side, Quad and Arch, but that's going to be the Quad man existence eliminated as we do have Kenny S moving in by himself with the AWP. Maniacs on the other side of the map at the moment. And the bomb is down in apartments. Kenny S goes in. It's just a shot onto Alu. And it's down to a Maniac now. Well, three players left. He's going to get eliminated. And uh, MIP actually hold on. They hold on one more round. So 15 to 11 now. And as it Star Series, it is uh, MR3 16K if it does go to overtime, which would be awesome. Overtime flicks. Let's, let's see if NIP can pull it off, though. Ali going to go in for a shallower angle here on, with the AWP. Or, in fact, perhaps uh, thinking about it, but this, the flash did actually 
indicate that perhaps a player could be quite close, and that's uh, definitely disincentivized Alu to even peek at all there with the AWP. He's just going to fall back entirely. This is going to leave uh, Freiburg now on the B site by himself as Getright rotates back towards the A side of the map. We do have a lot of players here for Titan looking to at least take middle. Maniac, Maniac's cleared Banana, so the, the going back to Banana is a huge option here for them. Alu going to pick off Kenny S. Yes, that's, I think, the first time we've seen Alu besting him, and that could make a huge difference. Exist gets one through the smoke as more peaks come in here. Alu looking good for more frags with the orb. There it is. Picks up number two. And two players left now for Titan as they try to do something in this round, but against an unscathed NIP lineup. Yet to lose a man. It's going to be difficult. Crossfire on the B site still. Freiburg tossing in a nade there towards Paul to flash anybody coming in, allowing Get Right to uh, stick his neck out. But look at this. Assistance of Maniac. Um, just keeping it real over there. You can see that this is quite important because um, obviously uh, gonna need, they're going to be able to buy with some drops, but they are going to need the drops. So it is very crucial that Existence can keep not only himself alive to, to be able to drop a weapon, but to keep the AWP alive to put into the hands of Kenny S. So time is going to run out now, and uh, might be not wanting to uh, damage their own economy by looking for frags here. So here we go. Let's uh, quickly check out and see what's going on over here. Can we get an angle somewhere? Can't get any third-person angles. What is this? Maybe like, like maybe I can just... There we go. Should have just done that in the first place. God damn it. Anyway, so we have the AWP on Kenny S. And uh, Alu also AWPing as well. But he's not shown a huge propensity for aggression at the moment. Looking to uh, get flashed out potentially. But he's going to back away again. And Kenny S is looking up middle. And... Uh, I think, I think it was last round was the first round we saw Alu actually getting the better of Kenny S. Going to need to do that more consistently to come back in these uh, these falling rounds. However, this might be the last round we'll see Kenny S with an AWP if they are to actually lose this one. And so it is pretty expensive. You can, see, you can see how broke they are. But once again, Maniac is taking control of Banana. This gives Titan, once they take this middle area, if they can, the option to actually fall back, but it's going to be Get Right who picks up a kill there onto Maniac. He was pushing Banana, pushing a little bit too deep perhaps. And now Titan, they don't know what's going on on Banana. It's a complete blind spot. They've sent Existence actually all the way back there. And that's actually really interesting because Existence can do the job that Maniac was doing now. He can hold Banana to make sure that it's clean. They don't need all four players here to take this portion of the middle area. So Existence is giving them a lot of trouble now on B. He's going to be slowing down rotation. This is a really smart play from Existence. He's kind of faking that his team's going to be double backing now. And so NIP, they don't know which way to go. In the meanwhile, Titan be pushing in. That rotation is so far away, kind of blocking each other for a moment there as they make their way in. And Alu comes in with the CZ, pulls out the AWP. Forrest in from the back now uh, from Pit with the M4 in hand, able to spray down both players who were remaining. And that's a really nice round from both teams. I, lo I love... I, I, I enjoy Existence's calling. I enjoy Existence. He is a good leader. You can, I, I really like what was going on there. So, um, I have to see now if uh, NIP can keep the ball rolling, though. More rounds to get to over time. Titan only needs one, and now they're on a, a very weak buy. Just uh, keeping themselves with enough money to uh, purchase in the next round. Just buying within their limits. So they can keep the pressure on as well. And just keep themselves alive with chances to win rounds also. And once again, it's a similar story here. As we see, Apex is the man who's uh, quickly checking Banana. But once again, just look at how Freiburg and GetRight have been playing consistently. We're not seeing the, the smoke here and, and the, the positions like this, which... I've, I enjoy from them so, so much to watch. But uh, that said, it could be that they are they are aware of how Titan prefers to play the map and that they deem that to be a bigger risk than is necessary. And well, we'll have to return to that point later. We do have what seems to be the push wanting to come in, but it's being delayed here by these well-placed incendiaries. Exist goes for the peak, able to pick up existence as now the rest of Titan drop into the balcony. Forrest able to effectively gun them down as the counter grenades really do their job here. 
Apex is able to uh, get himself onto the site, but he is going to get eliminated. And uh, one more round for NIP. Just one more, but here is the buy now. Kenny S with the AWP. And uh, we're going to have also Ali with him off of his own. So let's, let's have a look and see how Ali is going to play this and how Kenny S is going to position as well. So there's Ali. Is he going to go straight to a pump? No, he's going to back away. Yes, looking for the shots here up middle as well. So no action here from the Orps early on. You can see here Maniac, he's trying to push up Banana still, trying to do his job. But this is the first time I think that I've seen, they may have done this um, in other rounds, but this is the smoke that I was talking about, but they're actually still playing from here instead of playing from there and there. So inter interesting, um, interesting that that's the case there. And uh, there's no action found here on the A side of things for Ali just that. Yeah, and he's going to fall back a little bit as he does get smoked off. And this is going to allow Kenny S to more safely take some of these angles and these peaks. Like he's able to clear the roof of quad there as well. For some spam shots. They can get out of the boiler as well. Similar ethos here in that they still have banana control. So the option to go back is still there, but... It doesn't look like they're going to go for that. They are rotating their banana player all the way back for this push into the A side. Kenny S looking for the shot here. It's going to be Ali who gets existence down though. And he's going to pick up the bomb and push through. Apex goes down as well. Kenny S with no armor running straight onto the side. Can he get to safety? He manages to get out of the exposed position. Picks up the frag onto Alu. Goes for the quick second shot. Forest is causing, oh my goodness, so much damage done here by Kenny S. Another frag found. And again, Kenny S. Four kills in a row, and there it is, 16-14, and that is fantastic there from Kenny S. Oh my god, oh my goodness, that's 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 amazing. I, all right, guys, let's take let's take a quick break here. Also, catch our breath. Going to set up the uh, the next demo. Then we'll be back with map number two, Titan, Kenny S. Oh my god. <laughs> 